After widespread outrage, the Correctional Service of Canada says its commissioner has ordered another review of the decision to move serial killer and rapist Paul Bernardo from a maximum to medium security prison. It's a move that has re-victimized the families of Kristen French and Leslie Mahaffey, according to their lawyer. When I called, um, you know, there, especially with the French, there was actually a gap. You know, there was just dead silence. Tim Danson, who's represented the family since Bernardo's murder convictions in the 1990s, says he was informed of Bernardo's move last week after the transfer was already completed. When he asked what criteria they based the transfer on, the Correctional Service of Canada reportedly refused to answer, citing Bernardo's privacy rights. When you see what he and Carla Homoka did to these innocent teenage girls, I even get emotional now, decades later. And he's talking about his privacy rights? Calling the move shocking and incomprehensible, Public Safety Minister Marco Mendicino says he personally spoke with the commissioner of the CSC to express his anger over Bernardo's transfer from a maximum security institution near Kingston to the medium security institution northwest of Montreal. She assured me that she understood. Uh, she also assured me that uh, she was going to be reviewing the matter. In a statement, the CSC says the review will assess if the move was appropriate, evidence-based and considerate of Bernardo's victims, adding, quote, we understand that Canadians want to know the reasons for such transfers. Security classifications and transfers are based on risk to public safety, escape risk, an offender's institutional adjustment and other case-specific information, such as psychological risk assessments. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says he's leaving it to Mendicino to figure out why this happened and what the government can do about it. I fully and totally understand how uh, shocked and appalled so many Canadians are. Danson appreciates the outrage but wants to ensure action is taken and has concerns over Bernardo's parole hearing this November. I'm worried about there's certain people in, in Corrections Canada who are uh, setting Bernardo up for the best possible opportunity for parole eligibility, maximum security, medium security, minimum security, and then out the door. He adds the French and Mahaffey families are calling on Canadians to express their outrage by writing to the public safety minister, the CSC commissioner, and members of parliament to demand action and transparency. Until further notice, Bernardo will remain housed at La Macaza Institution, a medium security prison described as open campus. Michelle Mackey, City News.